plastification. things are done by seismic imaging most of the salt beds na they are geometry the flow pattern all these are identified by seismic imaging so if you further quick in future you take up a area you know where uh, there are salt beds and you have the facility to do seismic imaging to very interesting study the salt beds because they are directly related to the oil extraction now from here we go to new chapter today is okay na i can close it here astrophysics astrophysics is the phenomenon good day let us see what topic i should start up but before that i will give you some from initiation this way you know understand now what is the meaning of thin skin techniques Now, just when this type of things comes, like thinking about Himalaya, 
Very easy to answer this question. You just think of Himalaya. You draw the picture of Himalaya. So this is your Himalaya. So Himalaya is produced by a subduction zone. Some here like this one. This is the subduction zone. If you remember this diagram, this thing is very easy to understand. So when this subduction zone is here, so these sediments, Initially it was the these sediments, so these sediments have been dragged inside into the subduction zone. So these sediments when it went down, other rocks also went down, they were metamorphosed. Metamorphosed. Some melting happens producing granites. So all these things happened because of subduction. Things were taken deep into the earth. So this part got metamorphosed, granitic intrusion took place, understood that deformed, also thrusted, thrust developed, pores developed. So this deformation, you know, this is the core part of human, is called thick skin. This happens over a large thickness of the crust. So up to say 20 kilometer, 30 kilometer of the crust is deformed like this. But when you come to the foothill, this is called four leg. Four leg, foothill. So these sediments have been derived and deposited here. <coughs> so how much will be thickness? Maximum 2-3 kilometer, Siwa leaks, or now indo ganjetic alluvium. Like this. Na? So these are the four land deposits or the foothill deposits. Now these deposits there will be trough, depression. The Himalaya is rising now. Both sides you will get. Not only India side. Both sides you will get this type of deposit. Now, this deposit is called four land deposit. Now, this deposit will gradually, when the compression is going on, they also get affected by this compression. So, thrust develop like this. Thrust develop like this. Now, you could have a salt bed at the base, you know. Salt bed at the base. So all those structures, you know, like these folds, folds will develop, then again another fold will develop, another fold will develop. So these horizontal beds, you know, will be deformed into forming these type of fold, uh, bend folds, called propagation folds, detachment folds, all those folds will develop, you know, in the four lane. So they will no longer remain as horizontal bed. They will be deformed. So this is called a cold thrust bed. Cold thrust bed. These folds are developed because of faulty, because of thrusting. Understood now? Now here, what is the thickness of this deformed rock or a deformed unit? Very thin. It is gliding over a salt bed. Salt bed is the decal mark. Salt bed is the decal mark. So this petal is thin skin. Understood na? Thin skin. But this is thick skin. Here also you get thrust. Here also you will get cold. Hmm. If salt bed is not there, then if salt bed is not there, some weak beds will be there. Salt bed enhances. Suppose I told you na, suppose you have a base and over that there is a pillar, you know. If pillar has a salt base, how deformation is easy, you see, it can glide, you know, slide. But if salt bed or the weak layer is not there, then the entire thing has to perform as a single unit. But generally what I consider, suppose the case of indo ganjetic aluminum. indo ganjetic aluminum has a basement of granite gneisses. Then in slow gneiss, it is not there, it is not there, but it is ganjetic aluminum. So some sort of weak plane, you know, stage. But it cannot be as effective as the salt plane. Salt bed is a decalma banta, na, that sort of decalma cannot form a normal basement for the contact. Salt bed is not there and cannot be a thin skin tectonic. Yes, yes, thin skin tectonic means the tectonic involving a small unit of the overlying a basement. This became a metamorphic, there is no metamorphic. Because depth is not there, 3 kilometers, there is no metamorphic. 
there won't be any granitic intrusion. Only thrust will develop because you are pressing from this side. And this type of force will develop if there is a good decoy. Then things will ride. Ride over the other, climb over the other. That sort of structure becomes easier to form if there is a good decoy mark. Means salt bed. I told you. Uh, so is mean skin tectonics associated with only compressional settings? I could also have sensual settings. See? If Mexican Gulf, I have told you, Mexican Gulf, you have this salt bed, salt bed, then the sediments are deposited, then what happened? This, it started flowing down, you know, because you have a salt bed there. So this type of normal falls develop. And I told you, salt rollers will develop here. Then here dikes will be there. Then in this case there will be as a salt into those thrust sort of things, you know, because compression is happening here. This is also thin skin tectonic. Because the amount of uh, that structural unit or structural rock involved is very thin. So how much is the unit here? 20 kilometer, 30 kilometer deep. Because the suppression zone is involved here, na? One plate is going down the other. But here, surface here, very surface. But you will get many, this type of force. <coughs> if salt bed is there, then that becomes very helpful to formation of force and flux. Either forms a decolmer, easier to glide. So this part forms a thin skin technique. This part is thick skin. Then I gave you the example of Appalachian. Core of Appalachian you will find many things. Just like Himal. That is a thick skin. But that Texas, the other side, you know, the foothill, where these oil occurrences are there. That is a thin skin. So thin skin areas are <coughs> useful for hydrocarbon exploration, oil exploration. If salt is there, if salt is there, then it is heaven. Paradise for this hydrocarbon operations. We have so much of Shiva leaks, we have so much of Indo-Ganjalika oil, but where is the oil? Point is that, though it is a thin skin tectonics, but there won't be any good reserve. But salt is not enough. Once a salt bed is there, these type of structures, you know, antiformal structures, will prominently develop. Understood or not, tell me. So, first thin skin tectonic should be there, then salt bed should be there. All right, right? So, whenever you go for some, joining some company, you know, if you are fortunate to work in some international company, you will come across this type of salt beds. But reliance may have come to the salt bed, they hate it. They get, unless they get some friend as well. None of our Indian deposits are having salt bed. But if you go to Pakistan, other side, you know, the salt bed starts. I was telling you. Now, the point is, I will draw a sketch. Huh? You just imagine. This is Himalaya. This is Himalaya. This is Indian Peninsula. Okay, na? now if I draw a section like this, entire peninsula. So it will be very easy. So past Himalaya will come, then this type of things will come. Here is the, this type of things will come. Then what will happen? Then this, this will be over, then the peninsula nice will come. Peninsula nice, let us see. All these are granites, granites. Here is the Himalayan frontal fault or thrust. So this is your LVT. Like this, this is peninsula nice. Peninsula nice. So this part your fault thrust belt. Huh? Fold, thrust this point. The diagram you are able to follow. Now, what I am doing 